I'll present the group one uh, discussions on the questions that inputs from the participants, that's users, librarians, IT staff, university managers, and researchers. The first question or the first participant that we discussed uh, was on the user side. That the policy that we have discussed, the policy should be internet-based or worldwide accessible on the user side. And the second one, there should be internet speed and availability properly. And the third one, the system must be user-friendly. Uh, and the fourth one that we discussed on the user side is user's precision research results, results expected. Sorry, the last point was? The, uh, the last point was? Okay. Users, users precision research okay. results is expected on the user side. And the second one, that's on the librarian side, that we discussed the following points. Uh, these are, they should propose the embargo period of the uh, research <coughs> output. And the second one, they should work on quality of metadata. They should select the appropriate software for the uh, open access. And the fourth one, they should contribute the preparation of open access on preparation of the open access policy. The librarians should participate. And the other one is they should upload the resources. And the other uh, points that we discussed were work on customization of the software and another one is they should work on incremental and full backup uh, and the other point was protect the intellectual property rights they should uh, protect as a library they should protect uh, that by, by, by preparing the policy and working on that they have to protect the, uh, pro the intellectual property rights and the last one on the librarian side, we have discussed this, they, they should meet users' needs. And the third one that we have discussed on is the IT staff. The contribution of IT staff uh, regarding to the open access policies, they should manage the server, work on the networking and installation, uh, and the third one, they have to work on maintenance and troubleshooting. And the fourth one, they have to assist anytime technically. And the fourth point that, or we discuss uh, the fourth stakeholder, that's university management. This is uh, uh, the main uh, one. That is the, the, the university management should endorse the open access policy with other stakeholders. And the second point we discussed on that is allocate sufficient budget for all over activity of the open access policy. And the third one, the, they should have commitment to implement the open access policy and they should have follow up it. And updating or amend the open access policy. They have the right and or they have to work on this, the amendment of the open access policy. And they should promote researchers in order to publish their research on output, <coughs> their research outputs on open access. The last stakeholder uh, on, the access, uh, on the open access uh, policy is the researchers. And we discuss all these points on the researcher side. One, they should participate and propose the embargo period. Uh, they share, they should share tool and databases set with their research output. They should share tools and databases, database sets with their research output. The third one, they should restrict researchers not to engage on the same research topics. 
these were that we have discussed with our groups. Thank you for listening. My name is Milkes Adajani. Uh, I'm from Matu University. On behalf of uh, Team 2 or question number 2, Technical Readiness to Uptake Nadri Services, uh, I'm going to present what we have discussed regarding to the technical readiness of Nadri Services in the context of our country. According to the discussion of our group, basically we have divided the issue into four. The first one is the service. What kind of service this NADRI system provide for our country? The second one is what can we say about the readiness of NADRI toward uh, its service? The third one is what are the barriers or obstacles in order to implement this NADRI to the level we want? Finally, we also mentioned the comments or the suggestion, what should be uh, taken in order to avoid or overcome those obstacles. Uh, so, when we come from, uh, we start from NADRI services, according to the group discussion, we have basically mentioned three uh, basic ser services of NADRI. The first one is digital library services. The second one is institutional repository services. Uh, the third one is harvesting metadata of the uh, repository. This is, these three uh, services are the main basic services we get from NADRI according to the discussion of team two or group two. Uh, next, the second point is technical readiness. In context of our country, since we are going to adopt this system, we fear, we fear that the technical readiness is not that much uh, effective. Why? Because there are so many obstacles. Our group also tried to mention what are the obstacles to implement this NADRI system in our country in an effective way. Among those mentioned barriers, the first one is internet bandwidth problem. As most of you know, uh, in our country, the internet availability or the connectivity is uh, not uniform, which means some some university can get effective internet service and the other are not. The other one is the uh, uh, infrastructure problem. You know, uh, in our country there are uh, different universities established uh, in different years. Some of them are first, first uh, generation universities, some of them are second, some of them are third and uh, fourth generation respectively. Uh, the other issue is the collaboration of different, different universities. As you know, some first generation university adopted different uh, uh, softwares for their own institution. Some other universities still not adopted the, 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 the system for their institution. These create difference among universities. Why? Because some first generation university uh, cannot effectively provide, provide service or experience sharing for other universities. That can be also the other bearers or factors uh, to implement this in other service in our country. The other issue is university library structure. As all of you know, the library structure of our country is not uniform, which means in some university, the structure is very good, in some other universities, it's com confusing. Let's say some other university, let's say some university use ICT, ICT, uh, ICT team as university ICT. Some other universities have their own library ICT team. Some other university has their own ICT library team. And other universities have their own ICT generally. So this can also be the better for the implementation of NADRI or the service of NADRI. The other issue is legal issue. As you know, there is no concrete uh, and uniform legal, legal uh, issue that is generally universally approved in our country. This can also be the, the barriers to implement the Zinari system in our country. The other, as other issue is attitude toward the library. Outlooks or attitude toward the library. As all of you know, library is simply assumed to be the collection of books. Rather than this, uh, it's not that much uh, effective to provide information and service in teaching and learning uh, uh, process. Which means some, 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 some higher institutions of Ethiopia have uh, better attitude toward the library. Some of them have very less attitude toward the library, even librarian itself. 
the place the position they have for library and is not that much effective this can also be the uh, bearer or obstacle for the implementation of nadri uh, uh, the fourth point we have tried to mention according to our group is the comment or suggestion what are the comment or what are the solution in order to overcome those problems the first one is proper allocation of infrastructure including inter internet service including uh, proper allocation of budgets including a skill gap improvement program all this should be the comment or suggestion we have tried to mention regarding this nadri the other point is effective com commitment of stakeholders as you know in our country top level managers in uh, in, in some university they are uh, ICT related some of them are not as all of you know i'm sure that uh, some top manager of our university are not ICT uh, or ICT professional which means uh, the recognition that is given for library or ICT is not that much effective. This can also be uh, avoided. This attitude or this problem should be avoided. The other one is involvement of funding organization. Involvement of effective involvement of funding organization, like uh, in Ministry of Education, Education Strategy Center, and the other stakeholders should participate in this uh, adoption of this uh, NADRI system in the context of our country. Finally, uh, preparing different skill gap, skill gapping improvement training. Because since this NADRI is going to be implemented, or since it's going to be adopted in our country, uh, there, there, there will be different, different gaps. In order to avoid these gaps, it is a must to give different trainings uh, regarding these uh, different applications or platforms. So, uh, this is simply the, what team two discussed regarding technical readiness. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you. Okay, uh, we are not, uh, even though we are the last presenters, but we are not the least. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, our group covered two uh, questions, that means number three and uh, number four. I think number three it has two key words like readiness and availability so uh, we don't have a problem of uh, librarians and ict experts so but what what we need is uh, there should be collaboration between uh, each university and uh, the nardi office this is all about uh, number three because as i have said we don't have a problem experts in a library and ict in order to implement uh, such uh, database in the Ministry of Education. Uh, regarding uh, number four, uh, we do have uh, three key words like uh, Ethernet, Ministry of Education, and role of the university. So uh, first, uh, our group discussed about Ethernet. Uh, regarding the Ethernet, there are again five uh, keywords like cloud server space, technical support, programming uh, experts, that means programmers, the, the DOI management, and uh, training of local ICT staff. Like there might be ICT, there are IT staff in each university, so the, the, they need uh, the NARDI training in order to uh, implement it. So each university data uh, should be acknowledged when it's fetched from the NARDI. Acknowledgement is mandatory. Uh, data center should be at the NARDI rather than uh, each university. Uh, the presence of programmers, uh, as I have said, in the, in the NARDI, uh, the, there should be uh, an ICT or I mean computer science or IT programmers in order to implement it. In addition to the, 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 the programmers in each university, I mean in the NARDI, each university should have technical staff, that means programmers in each university, in order to avoid uh, in case something wrong happened in each university. Uh, the other thing is end user training, uh, how the system looks like. Th there are different uh, uh, 
uh, university staff members. So in order to access this, the NARDI uh, system, uh, each end user, like uh, maybe students, maybe a staff, uh, these uh, members should have get uh, this uh, training in order to access uh, the NARDI. Uh, in addition to this, uh, the librarians and the IT experts, which is found in each university, should create awareness and information literacy. What this NARDI system has inside it. That's our group discussion. Uh, the other thing, uh, what we have discussed in the NARDI is plagiarism checker should be at the center rather than each university. Uh, as you know, uh, uh, plagiarism checker software is very damn and expensive in, in, in our sense. So in order to uh, purchase each and every university plagiarism checker, I think it is better to have a plagiarism uh, checker software at the center in order to avoid the cost. So that is uh, our group uh, discussed it. Uh, the other thing, uh, time framework in order to submit the document. For example, Jemma University might, be, uh, might submit a document uh, at the beginning of uh, the month or other university might submit the document at the end of the month. So there should be time framework in order to uh, dump uh, the document. And the other thing is uh, there is a, a variation of bandwidth in each and every university, not only each and every university, there is also a bandwidth difference between the NARDI and the university. For example, the NARDI has 10 GB uh, uh, bandwidth internet, and for example, Jemma University has uh, 250 MB bandwidth. So there should be a negotiation between the university management and the NARDI in order to um, have uh, 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 the same bandwidth uh, between the NARDI and each university. This is all about the NARDI. And the other thing is about what is the, the role of the universities. Uh, each university repository platform should be accessible uh, to the NARDI. Uh, plagiarism checker, I, I already have uh, said it. And to manage the issuance of the DOI, and to tag the research documents, this, sh this should be done by the, each uh, university. Uh, the last one is about uh, uh, the Ministry of Education. What is the role of Ministry of Education in order to implement uh, the NARDI? Uh, the first one is fund. It's a mandatory uh, to, to have uh, different infrastructures for each university. So fund is mandatory from the Ministry of Education. Uh, higher university management officials discussion with uh, Ministry of Education uh, is very vital uh, because, uh, as you said, 36 universities are incorporated in the in the NARDI. Uh, but what if if one university say say uh, I don't like to uh, incorporate in NARDI? So Ministry of Education and the university higher officials should have a good discussion uh, with Ministry of Education. The other thing is the responsible office should be stabilized at Ministry of Education. Uh, in Ministry of Education, there should be one legal office uh, in order to uh, implement and take the responsibility for the, the, the NARDI. Uh, the other thing, librarians are also in, should be included at the internet. Uh, uh, during the, 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 the presentation in the morning, uh, in the internet side, there are uh, only uh, ICT staff, but what about the librarians? Because in that internet side, uh, uh, there might be, or there are uh, library works like bibliographic information, something like that. So there should be librarians and ICT staff in the internet side rather than uh, the universities. That is our group uh, discussed it. Uh, uh, the other thing, Ministry of Education should support especially the third generation universities uh, like infrastructures in order to implement uh, digitization uh, like uh, a repository, multimedia system and uh, automation. Uh, this is uh, all about group three and group four. Thank you.